Righty I saw a video the other day where someone was explaining all of these without actually showing you properly. And he said at the end of his video that it's not down to you to set any of these settings or have control over them, it, even to the point of your hot water temperature, not being able to set your hot water temperature. And that rattled me. So I'm going to do a video today. I'm going to show you exactly what all of those settings mean. So I'll try and keep it short and sweet. If we press and hold the notepad button on the left hand side there, that's the engineer setting until it prompts you into the next menu. Press the tick button there. If we go to the notepad button, we've got all of our options here. So we've got our direct hot water settings, maximum temperature, maximum temperature drop, max operation time, mode restriction, and recharge, okay? Now, if we go into our maximum temperature, this is the hot water temperature that you are asking for in the unvented cylinder or your whatever your cylinder is, okay? So you're asking for 50 degrees. Now, I've covered this in a different video before. I think it was the first one that I did. You can Put this all the way up to 60 if you like. If you're the type of person that wants to get into a bath and come out looking like a lobster, uh, you can put that up to 60 degrees, but just bear in mind that anything generally over 55 degrees will ask for that immersion heater at the bottom there to kick in to deliver the temperature that you need because most units are only capable of getting it up to 55. Um, so what I recommend is, is that most people are comfortable with 54. Um, in this situation with the flat that we're at, 50 degrees is more than enough for them. So if we press and confirm that one, and press the return button, direct hot water, maximum temperature drop. Now this is important. So this setting here basically means that if you're asking, for example, for 50 degrees hot water, when the tank temperature reaches 40 degrees, it will automatically come on to recycle the hot water, okay? So this 10 degrees, just bear that in mind. This is your hot water temperature as we speak. When that reaches 40 degrees, because the maximum temperature drop is set to 10, it will automatically come on when this reaches 40 to recycle to 50 degrees, okay? Now, if you've got that setting set slightly higher, what will happen is, is generally people will say, well, I'm running out of hot water and it's not recycling quick enough. So you've got to be really, really careful how you set these. I do come across it where people have set these to 20, even to the point of 30. So it's not recycling quick enough when they're using more hot water during peak times. So generally we'll set that to 10, anywhere between eight and 10. But just bear in mind, the lower you set this, the more often it's gonna be kicking in for hot water, okay? So we'll set that to 10 degrees. If we go to maximum operation time, now this is important as well. What we're telling the unit is, is that we've currently given it 90 minutes to complete a hot water cycle in the tank. At 150 litres, 90 minutes is generally enough. But if you've got a 210 litre cylinder, or 250, 300, whatever it may be over that, ideally we want to give that a little bit longer, maybe 110 minutes um, to 120 minutes, which is its max operation time. Now, it doesn't mean it's running within that period for a solid two hours. It just means that you're telling the unit this is how long it's got to complete a cycle. Now, if that's set too low, the problem with that is, is that if the unit doesn't complete a hot water cycle within this time, it will generally shut down on an error code because it thinks it's not man enough to complete that cycle. So you always want to try and get that to around about 90 minutes minimum. Uh, it comes factory set at 60, I believe. Um, we'll go back in there and change that one. Um, mode restriction, 30 minutes is the standard. This is basically saying that once it's completed a hot water cycle, it will automatically stick on that function and it won't complete another one for 30 minutes. So once it's completed a hot water cycle, it will recognize that it's completed. It, it won't do another hot water cycle, no matter how much hot water you draw off within 30 minutes. Okay. And some people keep that to 60. Uh, I don't recommend it. 30 minutes is more than enough. Um, that's pretty much all you need to know on that one. Now, direct hot water recharge time, okay? Now, on the older version, which we've got here, this will have an option just for large. On the newer ones, you will have an option for standard and you will have an option for large, okay? Now, what this means is, is that when it's set to standard function on an FTC6 panel, 
This is your hot water sensor, okay? Now, on a standard setting, that hot water setter sensor would be at the top of the tank somewhere here, okay? So you're only gaining roughly around about 100 litres of water, okay? Now, when you've got it set to large for the larger tanks, there'll be an additional sensor at the bottom of the tank like there is on here, which means when it completes a hot water cycle, you're storing more hot water. So that function's quite good. For example, if you live on your own, you don't use that much hot water. There's not a requirement to heat a full tank of hot water. You would set your setting to standard, so you only heat 100 litres of water because it's only you that lives in the property. If you've got a family of four, for example, ideally what you want to be doing is setting your tank setting to large so that you store enough hot water for everybody in the property, especially if you've got kids that like to take showers for two hours a time. But that is pretty much how you set all of those settings and what they mean. If you have got any questions, hopefully I can answer you in the comments below. Um, and if there's anything else that you need to see or want to know, um, just let me know. Hopefully I'll get around to it. Usually these videos come out in six months time from each other. I'm a busy man. Give me, uh, give me some, cut me some slack. But hope that one helps. Any questions, let me know.